everyone. Welcome back. I look like a mess like always. Actually worse today than normal. But I, before I get dressed and do anything, I really, really, really needed to do this video because I should have did an unboxing and I did not. I was too excited. Um, my wear pub baby finally came and uh, I waited three months to get him. I saw, uh, so I did an event for my friend Connie. She does the menagerie events out of Alameda County. And I did the goth day event with Martin um, from Beyond the Grave. Because don't forget, Martin changed his name to Beyond the Grave 707. And um, this lady came and she was all decked out. And she had a little baby stroller. And she had a little boy and a little girl. And they were little like werewolf puppies. Now there's different brands of them there's wear pups wear wolf pups um there's different people that make them there's some that do complete silicone there's some that do hard silicone with soft bodies um but anyway i got the information from her but i really do look like crap joe's sitting on the couch watching alien so you may ha hear some screaming in the background so anyway um uh i got in touch with her and i inquired about her her werewolf pups and there's there were three different kinds uh there was one that had like very minimal amount of fur there was one that had like medium amount of fur and then there was one that was fully furred and so i fell in love with the one that had the medium amount of fur and so and of course the lady's got to bark at somebody so anyway three months and it finally came today so first what i want to do is um show you guys the actual box thing uh, of the, the way that it was boxed. Um, because I'm telling you that this was, not only was it worth the wait, but it looked so cool and professional. Um, she just is amazing. Uh, her name is Jo, J-O, um, and I'm probably going to say her last name wrong, Brayers, B-R-A-Y, Brayer. Well, anyway, this is how she boxed, or packaged, um, the box and then on the inside of the box this of course was all neat um it was all uh because i i obviously wanted a boy and so um that she wrapped it all in this this was all wrapped in um the baby was inside here wrapped and then she also packaged like amazing packaging for sure um so it secured the baby inside the box um so then when I opened it, um, there's uh, th this, you know, white tissue paper over the top. And the boxing actually had another fold. I cut it off. So it actually had this. Like, so it was like, you know, fold this over and then the four flaps. Okay. So then when I first opened it, I see this. So there's a little... And she's out of the UK, by the way. And so this is her information. If anybody's interested in checking out her stuff, she does amazing work. And so inside here is not only a birth certificate. It's carrying, a, there's a care sheet on how to care for the baby. Because obviously it's not a real baby. Um... Yeah, it, obviously it says it's not a toy doll. It's an heirloom. Um, let's see. Hair may be micro-rooted and sealed inside the head with waterproof sealant. It is extremely fragile. Should it become dusty, it can be gently brushed to remove the dust. Hair can be carefully styled and can be refreshed with a little spritz of water. Reborn should be kept away from moisture, which can cause damage to the cloth body. Because it has a cloth body. But I'll read all that later. But anyway. And then it comes with a birth certificate. And so. Uh, and it also comes with this. So uh, he was born 8-14-21. Which is probably the day she shipped him out. Because uh, it takes her about three months to make these. Um, he's five pounds nine ounces. And he's a reborn by Joe Bray of Bray's Babies. And then you get an, uh, a certificate of authenticity. Believe it or not. These are the three different styles. Of the babies. This is the one I saw. But this is the one I liked. I like them all actually. 
and this is the actual maker of the mold um, and this is the guy that produces the he's the maker of the mold and then you have the availability to write your information in over here and then of course she sent baby pictures so I have uh, baby pictures of my little guy um, so there's a blow up photocopy and then there's an actual picture so that was on the top then wrapped in a thing by itself which I was completely surprised wasn't expecting any of this there's an additional baby blanket in blue so this was rolled up like this and wrapped in some blue paper and she put it her little um, ribbons around it super cool then there was this of course it was you know like so which oh I got it in now in here was a pin that says I love braised babies a magnetic pacifier and a bracelet which I have on him so I'll show you afterwards then in another wrapping was a little baby rattle so I was completely amazed with the presentation of the box so then the my, my baby which, by the way, his name is Jacob, was then wrapped in this adorable blue baby blanket. And so you couldn't see him right away. Now, he does take newborn clothes. He's good size. I am extremely... And he has a diaper on, too. I should put a diaper on him. Um, I did not do... I don't think I did an unboxing. Well, yes, I did. I did an unboxing of the other Vlad doll that I was not happy with at all, really. I still have him. The woman that made him is supposed to be redoing him. Um, but uh, I actually had contacted the actual lady that makes them. And so she's making one. Um, and so it'll be a couple months before I receive them because that is Jasper. So, but this is Jacob, and so I was a little bit nervous getting Jacob because of what I went through with Jasper. So I did do an unboxing with Martin, and I, I believe he'll be putting that up, um, hopefully before this one. Because <laughs> um, last time I was with him, we downloaded some of the videos that I did. Okay, so now this is Jacob. Oh my God, and he's heavy. So he's five pounds, so... Let me show you his feet first. These are Jacob's feet. Here's his little bracelet. And by the way, guys, this is actually a real bracelet. It's not plastic. With his little hands. Now remember, it's not a toy. So this is not something that you want to get um, for kids. This is a collectible. Um, it is a theatrical piece or whatever you may, may have or whatever. Um, and then this is his... <laughs> so meet it here let me see so this is jacob everyone so jacob has really cute little ears he weighs about five pounds look at his his eyes almost look i shut it off accidentally his eyes look real Totally different than the other doll. Um, oopsie. So, and then his pacifier is magnetic. Oopsie. <laughs> Keep that. There you go. Eh. And there you go. So there's Jacob. I waited three months to get Jacob. And now he's finally here. So I was excited to finally get him. So anyway, so that is the unboxing of... And now this is a werewolf pup. Again, 
uh, you can look her up. She owes, I think she's on Etsy also. Um, just look for Joe, J-O-B-R-A-Y. Um, or look for uh, Bray's Babies. And that's how she, um, I think that's her, her uh, name on Etsy. But um, amazing work. Very good quality. Love the presentation of the boxing. The boxing was amazing. She did a great job. Oh, and I forgot. I even got a cup. And I got even a coffee cup. So, if you guys are interested in one of her pups, um, again, it's about a three-month wait. She's in the UK. Uh, so, it takes almost three months for her to make and, and deliver and ship. Ah, oh, don't ruin my picture. And ship. Um, <laughs> um, but well worth it. It's totally well worth it. So, I'm going to head off now because I have a ton of things to do. And, of course, I look like a mess. And um, I have a bunch of stuff to do. And, of course, Joe is going to get in my way because he's doing stuff, too. Um, and I'm going to put my baby away. All right, guys. Till next time, don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. Go check her out if you're interested in a wear pup. Very well worth the wait. Very well worth the money. Um, super, super pleased. Very pleased. Um, and so until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and all that other good crap. See you later, alligators.